what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video here on madden so obviously there's been some kind of rumors about tom brady almost joined the dolphins this offseason until the brian flores allegations uh, against the miami dolphins so today we're going to be doing that what if scenario what if tom brady did go to the miami dolphins what would it look like what could this team do let's go ahead and jump right into this tom brady Dolphins rebuild today. So apparently Tom Brady was going to get a little bit of ownership in the Dolphins and start for them as well, which just sounds kind of bizarre and kind of interesting, but obviously didn't happen. He is still a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Uh, so now we have Tom Brady here as a what if scenario here. What if Tom Brady did in fact go to the Miami Dolphins and what would it have looked like? So obviously maybe they don't get Tyree Kill. So I don't know. I'm going to pretend that they still do everything also get Tom Brady, you still have Jalen Waddle, Teron Armstead. So basically this team is built pretty nicely in a way. So we basically just need to keep going and try to build around it even further with Tom Brady at quarterback. I mean, he's pretty old in this game though. So it's uh, in, you know, real life quarterback wise, uh, as we have to resign him twice, apparently not sure why that's it. Madam, what are we doing? Like, why is Tom Brady duplicate? Okay. Is one going to enter free agency? Is that, is this how this, is that how this is going to go? All right. I will offer Tom Brady a contract. And uh, he is back. Is the other one? Okay. So the other one's going to free agency. I don't know what that's all about, but whatever. I do want to get Mike Gusecki back. Uh, the Dolphins did franchise tag him, but I would love to keep him around for this Dolphins franchise as a weapon for Tom Brady. Some people have called him Baby Gronk. I don't know if I would call him that, but uh, Teddy Bridgewater as a backup QB, a little too much money for my liking, so I'm not going to go for him. And then Nick need him. If we can go ahead and get him here as well to be part of our uh, cornerback court, keep him around. Thomas Morstead veteran punter keep our punters here then this should give us a little bit of money never mind he's gonna test free agency but Raheem Moster I think I'll resign as well although I do like our backfield as it is but I think Mike McDaniel is gonna uh with the three running backs they have on the roster I think he's gonna be kind of going with what the 49ers did but we're not gonna get Raheem Moster either so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw three backs every Sunday for the for the Dolphins with Mike McDaniel there now so let's go to uh free agency and uh, let's see what we could improve on so honestly like I said quarterback positions I'm actually curious to see if Tom Brady entered free agency. There was two of them for some reason. No idea why that is, and he did not. Okay, so that's good. So uh, maybe it was just a little bit of a glitch. I've never seen a glitch before, but regardless, it is all taken care of now. So if we take a look at the offense, so, I mean, losing Raheem Mostert is not the worst thing in the world because technically we do have Miles Gaskin and Chase Edmonds, so uh, not a big deal. And then you have Connor Williams. You have Kenley as well. So we have a couple of uh, head development or star development, I should say, offensive linemen. So... Uh, I guess that's a good thing. So Austin Jackson is 23. So yeah, I'm definitely comfortable starting him with star development. Then you have Cedric Wilson. So honestly, the only thing that could be better on this team is the center position. And JC Treader might be in free agency. So that might be something we go for. And then the middle linebackers on the defense. So yeah, Emmanuel Ogba and Christian Wilkins. But as far as defensive tackle, you have a 25-year-old who could continue to develop as well. And then of course, your cornerback core uh, is really solid. And then JaVale Hanlon's uh, really young safety. Phillips and then Van Ginkle. Uh, then one middle linebacker wouldn't hurt. And then Eric Rowe, uh, 29. So maybe you could replace a strong safety eventually. But for the most part, I like how this team is built. It's just a matter of plugging in just a little bit of few more pieces. So let's go ahead and get on to the offensive line. So Jason Kelsey obviously already signed. If JC Treader is out here, which he is, I do want to just go for him to be my new starting center to protect Tom Brady. Because like I said, we do need a center. So I'm going to go for JC Treader and we'll be his number one offer by just a little bit. You have Jarvis Landry, who used to play in Miami, but I'm not going to go for him. There's no really, really no need to go for another center. But as far as middle linebacker is concerned, if we do have one out here, so you have John Brown, Jordan Hicks, Reuben Foster. Actually, the Dolphins actually worked him out. So I wonder, I don't think there's been anything signed yet, but you know what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign Reuben Foster to a two-year deal. Worst case scenario, he's just part of the depth and he's not going to start, uh, but at least he'd be there. And then is there anything else I kind of want to go for before I all, you know, set, you know, before I'm done? Uh, free safety, strong safety. I mean, a strong safety would be Ronnie Harris resigned with the Browns yesterday. Um, so I think I, th I think I'm good. I don't really think there's anything else I could want. Um, I wouldn't mind getting another running back because, like I said, uh, Dolphins do love themselves. Uh, or Mike Bedino is probably going to run three running backs. Would not be surprised. So I wouldn't mind getting Raheem Mostert back again. Uh, but it wouldn't kill me if he didn't come back. I'll give him a one-year deal. And then last but not least, we need a backup quarterback to back up Tom Brady. So. Uh, we got Drew Locker, we got Nick Mullins, got Kyle Trask. So Kyle Trask, welcome to the Buccaneers. I'll give you like a three-year deal to, or not Buccaneers, I, I apologize. Welcome to the Dolphins, maybe. So those are just a few depth signings. And then JC Treader would eventually, or obviously be immediately our starting center. Ruben Foster would probably be the starting middle linebacker for now. 
but of course uh, we could replace him so we got all four of our signings here and uh, our overall went down for some reason which is kind of interesting to me and my I don't understand why that would happen but regardless uh, 81 overall across the board and then we are gonna be going into the draft but honestly if Tom Brady did get traded to the Dolphins I imagine we wouldn't have our first round pick so I might go ahead and give my first round pick to the Bucks because uh, you know Bruce Arians already said it would have costed five first round picks in order to get Tom Brady and I don't know if that's fair but I don't know uh, I might just keep the picks I don't know we'll, we'll see uh, I don't know what the trade would have looked like we're gonna go to draft night though I'll decide on draft night if I want to trade the picks or not I feel like I should but maybe I won't we'll see so I went ahead and traded both my first round picks next year not this year so uh I don't know I again I don't know what a Tom Brady trade would have actually looked like I think five first round picks is a little unreasonable for a guy that's over 40 years old I get it's Tom Brady and I get that I just don't I don't know as a GM I would, I would have a hard time shelling out I'm sure you know that was an over exaggeration but I would have a hard time shelling out that many picks for a 40 year old so we are keeping our first round pick this year and wow we have some I, I did use a different draft class this time around as well so I want to mention that we're Derek Stingley dropping to us uh in Iquanu, Malik Willis I mean uh Charles Cross as well Tyler Learnbaum so this is I think in more of an updated draft class at least I'm hoping that's the that's the case but I feel like I kind of want to walk away with uh Derek Stingley here I mean he is available and uh he'd be like a really good cornerback coming in and you got Byron Jones and uh obviously Xavier Howard so corner's not really what we need technically it's not but same time it's Derek Stingley and I'm gonna take him he's in development corner love Derek Stingley but I think this draft class might have Charles Cross as a hidden development might have Malik Willis as a hidden development I think the draft class is a little bit more updated which I should have done a long time ago at least I'm hoping that's the case because I'm assuming Malik Willis went top 10 so you have Donovan West Christian Watson so yeah there's some names here that I haven't seen before in the other draft classes I use so Nick Cross out of Maryland I mean we definitely need a strong safety for the future so that's kind of a guy I'm looking at here so we're again we might again go basically secondary here Nick Cross a kick return D player addiction C play block shedding C catching uh he is going to be normal development but again our uh, strong safety position is kind of up there in age right now so I'm comfortable with that and maybe that was an L but I'm, I'm comfortable with that pick so round four pick number 15 I mean at this point we might take a wide receiver depending on what is available here in round four uh we'll see we got Jay Wandale Robinson JT Woods Calvin Austin the third Salyer Channing Tittle so uh da Damon Clark or Damon Clark however you say it but um I think I might go Jalen here uh day three pick um was in development in the last draft class I don't know if he's gonna be hidden develop again and he's not so he's normal development this time so that makes a little bit more sense but got another wide receiver in the wide receiver room so I'm gonna go ahead and end it on that um I feel like we did a decent job got another corner which is not what we needed whatsoever but felt like you couldn't pass on uh, Derek Stingley dropping me at six so I'm happy with that selection so this is what the offense is going to look like going into this season so we got Chase Edmonds Raheem Mostert Miles Gaskin as our three-headed monster here kind of so I'm gonna start Raheem Mostert though Tom Brady Kyle Trash Jalen Waddle Jalen and then Cedric Wilson and Tyree Kill of course Mike Gusecki you got Jackson you got Robert Hunt you got JC Treader Connor Williams and then Kenley backing him up and then you also got Teron Armstead and defensively we got Reuben Foster Jerome Baker Van Ginkle Phillips Javon Holland and we got Derek Stingley in here now as well Eric Rowe still the strong safety uh Nick Cross ended up being a 67 overall so not great and then Byron Jones I mean in a way we might be on the future don't know if this will be the best move for us but we could technically kind of get weird and maybe move Byron Jones to free safety I don't know what he would look like there because we do have so much cornerback depth I wouldn't mind doing it and I you know corners have moved to free safety in the past before like D'Angelo Hall is an example where he played safety for the Washington uh, I guess commanders now back then but he ended up going down uh actually I don't know where our our free state I guess we didn't need a free safety. we needed more of a strong safety so uh he's an 89 overall free safety though like I said we have so many in development corners so I might do it and then I guess Javon Holland can we move him to strong safety I don't know I just do it might just move him there that way he starts over Eric Rowe I guess we needed to move him to strong safety more than free safety but I think I like that I think I like this move I think it'll uh, make our secondary just look a little bit better since obviously like I said we did just draft Derek Stingley I think he'll be a stud as another corner so yeah I kind of like that so Byron Jones is our free safety which is interesting 89 overall there Damon Howard Nick Needham and then uh I'm not gonna be able to say this guy's last name but he is Noah he's 22 years old which is why I think the Byron Jones move to free safety could be an interesting one now will it work I don't know let's go ahead and, and I'm not saying it would happen in real life either but 
we're going to go ahead and submit to the end of this season and see if Tom Brady and the Miami Dolphins can go to the playoffs in season number one. So at the end of the season, we ended up winning our division at 10 and 7. Tom Brady led the way, of course, and uh, we can go ahead and upgrade everybody. And we could kind of see what, you know, what went right for us, what stats went right. And like I said, the move for Byron Jones must have been an interesting one for him. But let's go take a look at our stats. Offense was 19th in the NFL, and then defense with uh, Byron Jones moving and a couple of other additions were 18. So middle of the pack, but Tom Brady, 26 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Uh, you know, not too bad for his age, I guess. Chase Edmonds, 784 yards, 10 touchdowns. Receiving wise, Tyree Kill, 1,100 yards, 1,100 yards, 900 yards from Cedric Wilson, and 900 from Mike Gusecki. So a lot of good uh, receiving from the running backs, or uh, I guess wide or wide outs, tight ends. And then defensively, Derek Stingley led the league, or not, or led our team in tackles, I should say. Sacks wise, 10.5 from Manuel Ogba, 9 from Wilkins, and then he got 4 from Zach here. And then interceptions, he had 4 from Xavier Howard, 3 from Javon Holland, 3 from Stingley, 3 from Nick Needham, and 2 from Byron Jones. So that's a W. Uh, start development free safety for us. And Derek Stingley, did he go up to like superstar dev? He did. So, you know, I kind of figured that would happen, which is why I didn't think we really needed. Byron Jones stick at corner moving into free safety I thought was fun so uh let's go ahead and uh jump into this game we're playing the Denver Broncos which probably be a tough opponent you know Tom Brady's played the Broncos plenty of times in the past in the playoffs so Russell Wilson versus Tom Brady and then Clayus Camlock should resign with the Ravens today so um that is an interesting one so Ravens get themselves another defensive lineman there but Tom Brady in a Dolphins uniform boys that is an interesting look there but let's see how successful he can be in this playoffs so skip moment and Tom Brady is going to not get a score, but we got an interception from Byron Jones, W, and now we're up 10 to zero to start the game. And I think we got good field position. Nope. Uh, Broncos get the ball back three to 10, and now it is 17 to three. So we're in a pretty good position, three to 24. So just like that, we might go on to beat the Broncos. Is like, wow, another interception from Brandon Jones, not Byron Jones this time, is three to 27. Russell Wilson out here not having himself a day whatsoever. And we are up by literally 20. So this game is definitely over. Our defense played lights out, forced plenty of turnovers. Russell Wilson just did not have a good day. I actually curious to see how many. He threw three interceptions. Not good. Not good. So Tom Brady, two touchdowns, zero interceptions rushing wise. Uh, Judge Vontae Williams was solid. Chase Edmonds. Uh, and then receiving wise, we had 84 yards from Jalen Waddle. But all right. On to the next game, though. We beat the uh, Broncos pretty easily. So. Uh, let's go get it and let's see what we get to play next so we have a home game once again but this time it is against the baltimore ravens so obviously tougher opponent i would imagine you know the broncos are good as well so i don't know i mean i guess with the broncos we you know bringing if we can force turnovers from lamar jackson i think we can win this game again we played really nicely last game forcing three turnovers but we're gonna need that in this game as well we can't let lamar jackson run all over us so Let's see if Ruben Foster and Jerome Baker can uh, put keep Lamar Jackson in check. And it looks like we turn the ball over to start things off. Uh, we got good field position as an interception at 7-7. But the Ravens put up a field goal. Tom Brady tries to march us down. Does not go anywhere. But now it's 10-14. Ravens immediately respond with their own touchdown. And we turn it over again, it looks like. Now the Ravens have the ball. 24-14. Can still get back in this game. It's 21-24. Get a stop. And can we come out here? and put up some points no tom brady go do your thing bro had so many chances to actually take the lead and just didn't do it so it's 34 to 21 looking like we're gonna lose this game we literally had it in the position where we could literally just come down and strike and take the lead but unfortunately didn't work out for us but that's okay it was only season number one getting a division round is cool but i mean it's not like we have a ton of time tom brady's 46 years old so um hopefully he doesn't retire on us which i think i can uh, make sure he doesn't but regardless another off season uh, where we could get better so i think we'll be fine so here we go probably the last off season i would say of the video because tom brady's not getting any younger so we're gonna make sure this is a very good one so chase edmonds is a free agent you got christian wilkins got van ginkle miles gaskin connor williams and then alec ingold so um there's a few guys obviously we want back so i think we can move on from connor williams potentially because i think we have a guard sitting right behind him who is star development so we could just kind of rely on him this season I do want Van Ginkle and I do want Wilkins back. And I do obviously want one of my running backs back as well. So I'm going to go for Wilkins here and he'll be back. So now Van Ginkle, literally scheme fit and superstar dev. So it doesn't make sense to move on from him. And he is back. So after that, that doesn't give us much cast space. So yeah, we're not going to be able to get Connor Williams back. And we're not going to be able to get Chase Edmonds or Gaskin back. I'd imagine so Raheem Mostert is the guy going forward. Unless Miles Gaskin's willing to accept like a very cheap offer, which uh, he is back. So Miles Gaskin kept but one of our running backs, I guess. So I'd feel pretty good about that. But now we can kind of see 
if there's anybody we could maybe cut away because obviously a little bit more work needs to be done in this roster and we don't have a ton of money to work with so 85 overall offense though even after losing connor williams so if we take a look at the offense got miles gaskin like kenley like i said kind of steps up in connor williams spot so we'll have to hope he just develops fine then uh wide receiver core just fine don't really need to worry about that it looks like raheem moster is gone i don't know where he went but he is gone and offensively i kind of like what we have going defensively though i mean it's solid could be better and literally our whole secondary is superstar dev javon holland went up superstar dev as well uh so this looks really good i mean i'm really happy with what we got going on here but maybe a trade using one of our corners to kind of strengthen the middle linebacker position a little bit might not hurt uh because i do like reuben foster i do like jerome baker but definitely would not mind getting better at that position so i don't think we're gonna be able to sign a free agent offensively i'm gonna leave it alone and i'm gonna have to roll with miles gaskin we didn't really run the ball off that often last season anyway so um we're gonna go ahead and use one of our corners probably gonna be nick where i trade away because i just gave him a contract and we'll trade him for a middle linebacker or something along the lines of that to get ourselves a brand new middle linebacker here in miami to kind of help this defense strengthen just a little bit more so i'm trading with the arizona cardinals and getting isaiah simmons from them i'm trading nick need him and a second round pick in order to make this happen the cardinals get themselves a corner while we get our middle linebacker position kind of figured out so if take a look at that now and beautiful thing about this is isaiah simmons is superstar dev so that just gives us another another middle linebacker here so uh, another superstar development player coming in ruben foster will back them up so yeah that's basically all we're gonna be able to afford we don't really have a draft pick so that was literally our only acquisition this offseason so this is your defense and this is your offense basically so we're gonna be running it back one more time with tom brady at quarterback not a ton of ways to improve but really love how the defense looks now with isaiah simmons coming in a lot of superstar development players here so hopefully that just continues and uh now with nick needham gone we can go ahead and see if we can make the playoffs this season with isaiah simmons coming in so at the end of the season we end up going 12 and 5 to finish off and win our division again and it looks like we get to play the denver broncos again as well so that should be fun let's go take a look at the player stats though before we jump into this game this is going to be the last season though uh only a two season what if scenario today because of how old tom brady is but uh he was really good this season which is a w offense was 18th in the nfl defense was 14 so 44 touchdowns and 12 interceptions from my man tom brady which is awesome Rushing wise, Miles Gaskin, 1,000 yards, and nine touchdowns, and then Strong right behind him at 200 yards. Receiving Tyree Kill, 1,300 yards, and 1,900, and then 600 from Cedric Wilson. And defensively, like I said, we did make a lot of moves over here. So 11 from Christian Wilkins, 10.5 from Agba, four from Zach, three from Simmons, and two from Jerome Baker. And with interception, we got Simmons with four, Baker with three, Stingley with three, two, and then two, and then two, and then one from Byron Jones. So um, let's go ahead and jump into this playoff game, though. We get to play the uh denver broncos again we beat the hell out of them last time so let's try to do that again hopefully you can force a lot of turnovers again but um we'll have to see what happens all right we're running it back once again man tom brady you beat this team last year let's do it again obviously defense was a huge part of that so hopefully defense could play very well again today and we are up seven to zero start things off uh but we got the broncos responding with a field goal and they put up a touchdown now and then we are going to respond with nothing never mind literally we missed a field goal i guess and then uh did we turn it over no it is going to be 10 to 17. broncos are in prime position to win this game it's 31 to 10 and it's not looking good for us boys i think we might be losing this game and that is going to suck so it's 31 to 10. Uh, since this is the last season like i said i am just going to come in and end off with a touchdown to end off this video so we can end on a high note even though we're losing this game no matter what it sucks we got to bounce on the first round this year but it is what it is um let's see if i can get Ooh, all right Joan Waddle, I see you very shifty out here. Um, I don't know who's uh, been turning the ball over, but I mean, we didn't get anything going this game. So uh, might be looking for Tyree Kill. I, I have freaking Tyree Kill, bro. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't know why I'm about to scramble. Actually, I have Y wide open, but this, uh, yeah. I mean, that's why you don't throw it across the field. That was a, that was kind of an L. That was kind of an L on my part. I'm not going to lie. So Ajumati gets picks me off and we get the ball back. So I get to redeem myself, although that was horrible. I'm going to redeem myself with the touchdown here. So, um, honestly, just kind of want to put Tyree Kill uh, on a burner. And uh, let's see if he can come up with it. So, I have Tyree Kill wide open here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take... I mean, he's literally a cheat code, I feel like. So, let's just go right back to him. Not seeing play, though. I do want to send him deep. And he'll burn anybody. So, Tyree Kill, just go out there. And I'm just going to throw it up. And he will come down with this, right? Uh, he... Yeah, there he goes. Okay, that's what I needed to end off the video. So you just mossed 
uh number 13 whoever that is is that patrick certain can't remember if certain was number 13 but hey i'll end off on that i'll moss you know patrick Sertain. i think that was certain i could be wrong but i'll end off on that sucks we you know didn't really do anything with it but it's just a little bit of a what if scenario today so i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did but this is crushables i'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love